everybody, this is Madison here at the Mission Bend Branch Library and today we're going to make our own DIY bottle cap wind chimes. Here's what you'll be needing for today. A tin can, some key rings, scissors, a needle, it may look hard to see, but like the ones people use for sewing. A hole puncher that's meant for jewelry, fishing twine, and some metal bottle caps. These are from old soda bottles and I love collecting vintage stuff. So, and you can see some different ones like Heinz root beer and all that good stuff. Now I did do this craft months ago and I would like to show you how it came out and I would like to show you all how to create your own. Like so. This is what we'll be creating today. Let's get started. So the first step is you need two key rings, a bottle cap, and your jewelry hole puncher. I already prepped this cap ahead of time, but with the hole puncher, you'll put two holes in it, one at the bottom and one at the top. And then you'll just take your key rings and put them through the hole like so. Like that. And we'll put it through the other hole. Like that. Just know with this project, you'll need 40 bottle caps there will be four strands on the tin can, so 10 caps for each strand. Stay tuned to see the whole strand. So this is what your strand will look like. So one key ring between each cap, 10 caps total, but you will not need a key ring at the bottom of the 10th cap. So these are the four strands right here ready to go. Now you'll get your tin can and the hole puncher again. And you'll do four holes on the opened end of the can. So I kind of use my fingers to kind of get a rough view of what half of it would look like. So like if you imagine drawing a line, here's half and here's half where the fingers are. That's where you'll put the holes at. So after you do each hole, the strand, you'll just attach it right through the hole. So I can just show you like so. Like that, pretty easy to do. So we'll be back in a minute with the other strands attached and I'll show you the next step for the top of the can. I got my strands attached. So our next step is with the jewelry hole puncher again in your tin can, the top of it though. You'll do two holes, but I made the holes larger so I can fit the fishing twine more easily. So what you'll do here with your fishing twine, you'll cut off a long piece with the scissors and with the needle right here, I'll just stick the twine through the hole. I already did this ahead of time because I don't have good eyesight. And the hole is really tiny, but it'll prove to be helpful with the fishing twine. So after you have your holes punched here at the top of the can, what you'll do is just put your fishing twine through the needle and then just grab the ends of the twine. Make it even though. Then what you'll do with the needle, you'll put it through one hole. And then you'll have to seep it through the can into the other hole. I kind of recommend a flashlight for this though, because it can be hard to see 
but I know some people are pretty good with getting it through. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got the needle through the second hole and pulled the needle out from the fishing twine, like so. Now what you'll do, you'll just tie a knot, like so. And you'll just keep tying and tying and tying the knots. Luckily, fishing twine, though, is very sturdy. But the more knots, the better, because it's it'll be more secure. Just make sure, though, you leave a gap like this. Because that's where you'll hang it on your tree. Or wherever. I, I hang mine in my bedroom. Because I like to look at my projects that I've created. That should be good enough. And we'll just tie off, cut off any loose ends like that. So this is our final product. Look at that. You can hear the caps clink and clank. It's a nice noise. I hope you enjoyed this program today. What I would like for you to do, though, is subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a like on our Facebook page, and the QR code you see right here, pull out your smartphone, open up the camera app, and just scan the QR code, and it'll take you to directly to our Facebook page. I can't wait to see you guys again very soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day.